Hello and welcome back to another top 5 Walking Dead list and today I want to talk about the top 5 characters that I think were completely wasted on the Walking Dead show like they were introduced to the show and they kind of did nothing or they had so much potential but nothing happened okay but before we get into this if you want more Walking Dead content I'm pretty sure it'll be in the top right there'll be a little tag saying click me go click it because it has lots of more Walking Dead videos but let's get right into this so we're gonna first go into some honorable mentions and I have a couple honorable mentions but let's go to Carol okay I believe she's being wasted currently I feel like she kinda stopped having character progression in season 9 and yeah okay and Maggie no par character progression since season 7 and even goes to Daryl okay he's kinda stale no character progression no like big character progression he got a little in season 10 but I feel like it's not enough and my big like okay this is my big honorable mention T-Dog cuz do you remember anything that guy did okay I remember him like going, everyone saying he's gonna get a big part in season 3 and he just kinda just died and you're like wow that was wasted he was almost number 5 but I felt like nah Number 5 deserves to be number 5. So let's actually get into number 5. So number 5 is Carl. Yes, I believe that Carl was completely wasted on the show. Because if you think about it, Carl was killed off for complete shock value. And just when he was getting good, like Carl was really annoying in the early seasons. Like Carl was bad, okay? He was wasted in the early seasons because he had all these, like if you look at the comics, he had all these things to do. And then you obviously just didn't do it with Carl, okay, in the show. Because like maybe Chandler, Chandler Riggs acting in the early seasons wasn't very good. So I understand why they avoided using Carl as much as possible. Because he was a child actor. He wasn't very good. He became a good actor near the end, like season 7 onwards. Season 6, 7 onwards. That's when he became a good actor, I feel. And that's when he was able to start take more of his comic roles. Like, he'd start to take more of the comic arc. But season 6 before, he was wasted because he had some comic stuff to do. Like, do you look at the flowers? In the comics, something similar happened, but it was Carl that murdered a child, not Carol. Okay, so they gave a lot of like Carl's things he did in the early seasons to other characters and you wouldn't even notice it. It's just like Carl as a child was not a badass and they kind of just didn't do that with Carl in the show. So they wasted his early seasons and just when he was getting good in the saviors, they killed him off and you're like, okay, you wasted that. Okay, because Carl takes a really big part in the Whisperer War and he does in the Commonwealth arc and you wasted all that potential we had with Carl. Okay, the show... Even can't even do the same ending now because Carl is the main part of the ending of the comics. Okay, so that's why this character is massively wasted on the show because this character is literally the one character you couldn't kill off. This is the one character that is needed for the end and you've gone and wasted it. Now, number four and fourth place, I'm going to say is Morgan. Okay, the reason why I think Morgan was completely wasted on The Walking Dead is that if you think Morgan has been on fear. And The Walking Dead for about the same amount of time. We're not counting his early seasons like appearances. We're counting from season 6 to 8 and season 3 to 6. Okay. For Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead. And what did he do on The Walking Dead? Well he kind of just kind of flip flopped. And kind of had a very similar arc to Carol for three seasons. He, ha he had it in the opposite direction to Carol. And that was just kind of stupid. They did nothing with Morgan. They just had the same arc as Carol. And if we go over to Fear... What's Morgan done in three seasons? Well, he's completely changed. He's had a massive, like, character development. He now has moved on from his dead wife. He is now technically a father again. He now kills people he loves. And that was that was, that was built up to over three seasons. And what did The Walking Dead do in the same time? Nothing. He just went crazy. He just did the opposite of Carol. So, Morgan is completely wasted. I could have put him higher, but I was like, nah. Because he kind of... We only realised he was wasted when... Fear the Walking Dead did way better with her character. And I, and that's that's saying something. Fear the Walking Dead did better than the Walking Dead at something. And that's with Morgan. Now at number three, I'm going to say Jeebus. Yes, Jesus was completely wasted. He was a good character on the show. He was a great character on the show. But looking at his comic side, we never got that Jesus, okay? If you look at Jesus just before he dies, where he's doing all those flips and stuff, that's kind of like the only time Jesus kind of does fighting like that. But that was Jesus the whole time in the comics. Jesus was way more badass in the comics than he was in the show. Like, he was kind of nerfed in the show. And I feel like that completely wasted him. Like, he's in third place. He was... I could have put Morgan above him, but I was like, nah. I'll put him in third just because how he is such a pathetic version of his comic self. Okay? 
Like, Jesus also survived the Whisperer War, and what do they do? Like, oh yeah, what should we do with Jesus in Season 9? We'll just kill him off, because we can. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, we have this amazing, like, amazing fighter. Great fighter, can do all these, like, backflips and stuff. We'll just have him get stabbed. Yep. See, look, you can see how he's wasted now, okay? Where the comic Jesus was just kind of flipping around, doing cool stuff. TV Jesus was just stabbed in the back. Yes. Wasted. Now, we're at the number two spot, and this was to be quite a surprise. Magna, okay? Like, she is completely wasted. Because if you look in season 9 and 10, like, she kind of had, okay, she exists to be kind of the love interest of Yumiko, okay? Like, Yumiko was a good character. I quite like Yumiko. Like, the only characters are the five characters introduced, like, those five. Luke was even dropped from the show. That's how annoying he was. He's wasted, but he's not important. But you had Yumiko, and she was fun, okay? And... Magna's whole purpose was to be the love interest for Yumiko, okay? And you're like, okay, she's nothing like her comic self. They give her none of the comic stories, okay? She's just there. And you're like, okay, well, you have all this comic material we could use for Magna, but we're not going to bother. And you're like, okay, what are we going to do with her then? She's just going to stand and do nothing. And especially when Yumiko goes off and does Michonne's story arc from the comics, she's no longer connected to Magna. So Magna's only thing that made her relevant is no longer existed. So what does Magna do if she's got nothing to latch onto anymore? She just kind of exists and they're kind of just... If you look at the show, what have they done with her in the first five episodes of season 11? She's kind of just sat and watched Guard over Hilltop. Or it's not Hilltop. Whatever town that's currently irrelevant, okay? She's kind of just sat and watched Guard. And yes, she's completely wasted. They're trying to mix her in with Kelly. Be like, well, Kelly doesn't work well. Like, I I know the part to be meant to be like family, but Kelly kind of works well with Carol and Daryl and Connie, not with Magna, which is just Magna is just completely wasted. She's nothing like a comic self. Now at number one, and everyone's going to agree that this is the most wasted character on The Walking Dead because he had bunches of potential and it is Andrea okay and did you know that Andrea was originally had a contract the actor had a contract for eight seasons okay but the showrunner of season three never read the comics and he was like just before season three's finale aired decided to have a shock death on Andrea yes she was originally meant to get a comic like path but no the showrunner at the time never read the comics I just killed off because he felt like it yes Max wasted potential, okay, and like if you want to know how cool her character was, okay, so she was a so do you know what Michonne got in this in the show? That was kind of Andrea's story. Andrea was meant to become partnered up with Rick eventually, and then after that, uh, she was meant to die at the end of the Whisper of War, saving everyone, okay, and we even got a tease to her death, okay. We got teased with Carol like doing a fake out death of Andrea's death. Imagine if Andrea was still around, that death would have happened and season 10 finale would have been great. But no, okay. Yes, I'm still salty about that. It doesn't end there with Andrea. She was wasted in season 3 when she was still alive. Just think how she was paired with the governor and did all those stupid things instead of actually doing things to the community. She was just there going, the governor's a good guy. When you're like, no, Andrea, she he wasn't. And yes, okay. That is my list. What do you think? Do you agree with everyone here? Do you disagree? Please tell me what you think. And if you want more content, look on the screen. There should be something here now, okay? There should be something in all three areas. Choose one, please. You might like it, but I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.